Determined to have their vote counted, despite the soggy conditions, some Columbus Democrats camped out overnight in front of the Franklin County Board of Elections. It was important to me uh, as a student and as a woman. I think this election is really important. First thing Tuesday morning, once their IDs were checked, hundreds of Ohio voters took advantage of the state's early voting and cast their ballots. The Franklin County Board of Elections is preparing for another big turnout this election season. We had about 270,000 people request absentee ballots four years ago. We would uh, expect something similar to that um, this year. Eager to turn out their own party faithful, Republicans hit the phones. Strategies have changed now that the campaigns have to worry about more than just one election day. I continue to use the term election day. There really is no such thing as election day in Ohio anymore. It is an election month. Ohio is among 34 states plus the District of Columbia where people can vote early without giving a reason. The people who take advantage of early voting are the partisans, are the ones who already know how they're going to vote. They've probably known for months how they were going to vote. People who are undecided are much more inclined to wait to see how the campaign rolls out. Both parties say their internal campaign polling shows Obama with a narrow lead in Ohio, a Midwestern state that has played an important part in determining every recent White House race. No Republican to date has won the White House without winning this state. I believe in America, and I believe in you. I believe you're going to help me win Ohio, I'll tell you that. All right. You probably are aware that uh, there's an election going on right now in Ohio. Early voting has been credited with helping reduce some of the long lines that plagued Ohio in the 2004 presidential election. Tracy Brown, Associated Press, Columbus.